Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and I know it's been a long time since I've put out a video. In fact, it's been over two months or about 62 days. Um, I thought I'd try to get back into it. We'll see if I can do it. Um, I've been sort of very busy lately, and it's just harder to get down here to make these videos, especially with me not using my systems quite as much as I was with food. Now that I've got this uh, Vitamix Eco 5, I tend to be just throwing all my scraps in that and calling it a day, and I can just dump that right in my yard and have it kind of immediately soak in so it's been really easy using that machine a lot easier than using my worm bins i'm still feeding my worms but i just have not been recording it lately and this one has been over a year since we've actually done a video on this one system i'm going to show you and that is my african nightcrawler system that is in a 10 gallon tote now i really thought that this system would be you know the worms wouldn't be there and i was doing some yard work outside and i was like i need some castings to throw into these this material that I was putting in pots and some gardening and when I dug in I was quite shocked there were a lot of worms in there um actually I was really surprised at how many I realized I've been adding food to it so I'm not surprised that there's worms but I was surprised with how many African night crawlers were in there and survived over the cold winter months that I had here so with that I want to show you what the system looks like we're going to add some food we're going to add some bedding we're going to add some other stuff to it and we're going to try to get the system sort of up and running again. And I'm going to try to get back into the cycle of updating everything on these videos here and not cutting out the videos when I feed my worms. So with that, let's take a look at this bin and see how it's doing. All right, so here is our bin. This was started in 2021. So as you can see, it's been going for quite a long time since it's 2024 right now. And our last update was almost a year ago. I'm not going to keep track of the update this time on here because I have been adding food, but I have not been tracking it. But first off, let's just take a look here. It's a little dry on top. You know, no big deal, though. Worms can take it. But you can see this material is actually pretty moist um, as, as I was going down in here. And I did take out actually a good portion of this material. And I do have my glove on for this, but you can just see in here. Look at this. These are these African night crawlers. And I was shocked when I started looking into the system that there were so many worms in here. Now, I do think it's a little bit light on food, obviously. Um, I had just thrown in actually a whole bunch of, um, what was it? Uh, food that went through my um, juicer. So the, the leftover peels and everything. But you can see there's these big worms in here, these big African night crawlers. I was surprised that they were sort of all through the system. Every handful I got... Look at this, more and more of them. Um, and I was just really shocked by this. I really thought that this system would have been, you know, hemorrhaging worms. There wouldn't have been left anything in here that they were finishing the food, but, you know, just sort of there. But you could just see, I mean, look at this. Look how many are in here. And they're lively and active. It's a little chilly. Um, today was actually a cold day down in the, uh, in the 40s today. Um, basement runs a little bit cooler than the rest of my house, so... You know, these, these worms typically bear the brunt of that. It doesn't get down into the 50s, which would be detrimental or below 60, really, but it's probably in the mid-60s in here. And actually, I don't have my uh, temperature gauge down here. But you can just see, I mean, look how long these worms are. I mean, this is what they were when I sort of got them. They were really big worms, and I really, they kind of shrunk down in size, and then I had issues with them, because it is hard. And you can see this material is just really, really stuck in here. It's really kind of rotted on here and... and drying out a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to move everything to one side. And I'm sort of making this up as I go because I'm just surprised that, I mean, look at this. You can just see how many worms are in here. Um, but what I want to do is I want to give some space to add material. And we're going to add quite a bit of material because we've got a lot of worms in here, but nothing for them to eat really. Um, they came up and ate all the stuff on the surface and, you know, they're looking for food. I mean, you can see there's nothing really in here except for that one mango pit. And we need to give them more food. So we're going to do that first. We're going to move everything to one side, sort of, best we can. Just like that. And I, some of the food that I have is going to be frozen, so I do want, don't want it to touch them, because that's probably going to really hurt them. So as you can see, my glove's a little bit sticky there. And let's see, can we zoom you out a little bit more? Maybe like that. There we go. All right, hopefully everything's been in view this entire time. It's been a while since I've made a video. I'm a little rusty. So with that, we first need to add... I feel some cardboard and I have a whole bunch of cardboard off to the side here. I'm just going to grab some handfuls and add it to this bottom section here. But we want to add a lot of cardboard because as I said, there's nothing in here for them to eat. But I really, I don't like just adding usually one thing. I kind of like to add a few different things, especially with uh, trying to get the system going again. So I've got in here, I've got a container of, uh, what is it, pine shavings. So we're going to add some of that in there too. 
little bit of variety to the diet, a little bit of variety of material so things don't stick together quite so much when we add water to this. And then let's see for food and we're going to cover this as well. So, uh, but for food right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I have first off, I've got, and I'm not weighing the food or anything like that, but I have some spinach here that was going bad. And then I threw it in the freezer to, so it wouldn't stink up my kitchen. So I've got some spinach. This is great because I'm also getting rid of some of these containers too that I've had sitting in my fridge for a while because I just haven't been adding food as much as I used to to my systems. So let me just grab some of this over here. Make sure I get all that in there. There we go. And then I've got something that I think will heat up a little bit here. I've got some rice. Um, rice is not something I add to my systems very frequently, but I've got a big block of frozen rice here. And this stuff normally does, I think, heat up in a system. It's, a, you know, a carb, and I've noticed that carbs tend to, to warm up a little bit more. So that's what I'm hoping for, is that this adds some warmth to the system. But we're not going to just add those things as well. We're going to add one other thing here. And with this, I'm going to put my mask on, because what I'm going to do is I have some of the stuff from my eco uh my vitamix eco 5 food cycler we're gonna add some of that into and by the way you can see there's some shell in here as well so i'm not going to have to add any crushed eggshell because that's already blended into this which is nice makes it pretty easy when you can just throw everything in one big machine and just let it go to work i don't have to do any processing or anything like that now we're going to add some water to this let this soak in you can see the Eco 5 stuff, it's, you know, kind of hydrophobic a little bit at first. And it almost reminds me of like Coco Coir. So we're just going to pour some of that on there. And I figure the extra paper we have in here is going to soak up a lot of this stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. Now, what do I need to do? I need to cover this up. So actually, I'm going to bring my paper just a little bit closer here because it's kind of far away and normally I'd kind of wet this cardboard or paper beforehand but there's quite a bit of moisture in the system it's a little bit muddy so I'm not too worried about it but we're, so we're just gonna cover this up all right with that we're gonna put in a little bit more water Make sure that that is nice and moist. As I said, it's been a while since I've done this. I'm a little rusty on uh, doing these videos here. And then last part of this, we kind of want to cover this up with a little bit. Just so that way, kind of weighs it down a little bit. Loosens up the soil here. And then hopefully what's going to happen is these worms are going to move into this area. Tackle this piece right here. And then maybe I can harvest this other side because this is a really full system. I was originally planning to dump this into my African Nightcrawler uh, Urban Worm Bag. And I just never got around to it. And that one seemed to be doing pretty well. So I didn't really want to mess it up by adding more material to the system. So with this, uh, that tape is already rotting out. I guess I'll have to put a fresh piece of tape on there if I can find one. Let me just grab my, take off my glove here for a second. Let me see if I can find some tape. All right, here we go. I got a piece of tape here. Let me add a piece of tape to this corner over here. I like this, at least mark at least somewhat where I fed, especially if I come back in here soon. So I've got this white piece of tape right here. I'm just gonna put that right over here on this side. You can't see that right now, but I'm gonna put it right over here, just like that. And that way I know where I last fed. I'll have the date on my uh, video, so that way I know when the last time I came in here was. But uh, yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, since I've done a video on this, I think the last time I fed this was probably just to, like two weeks ago, though. So, and they went through all of it. I had a massive amount of the leftovers from juicing. So, with that, we're going to let this sit. We'll try to come back. But these worms are actually thriving in the system. I'm really sort of surprised by it. I really thought that they would have died out and there would have been like five or ten in here. And it looks like there's like, you know, maybe a hundred in here, which is quite surprising to me in a good way. So, with that... Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, or if there's anything you want to see in a future video, let me know, and I'll see about getting around to that. Um, you know, but for right now, actually, you know what? I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to put a new fresh piece on here. 
and maybe start these dates over again. No reason to continue to have that one on there, but maybe I will mark down a date just so I know when I made a video. I'm gonna go ahead and rip off a piece of tape here. I gotta see, do I have any pens down here? I don't even know what I, I don't even know what I have down here anymore. So, all right, today is the 23rd of April. So actually, I'm gonna have to turn this around like this so I can write. I'm not very good at writing upside down. Three, 24, and we did feed, so I'll put a little dash there. So there we go. Starting a new label and everything. I'll try to get better at making videos. I can't guarantee it. Life is just busy. But thank you for watching. And again, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to know about for composting, let me know, and I'll try to make a video of it. Thank you again.